The entire of Hall 25 is dedicated exclusively to young talent, because a shortage of skilled workers is one of the biggest challenges facing the industry. Organized by the Nachwuchsstiftung Maschinenbau, 20 companies are presenting their apprenticeships here. We've set up a very exciting project here, where parts of a racing car are being produced on the machines you see here. The young people can observe this process, collect the parts and, in the afternoon, assemble a racing car and take it home with them. During the six days of the fair, around 4,000 pupils will visit the exhibition hall. Using an app on a tablet or mobile phone, the 10- to 16-year-olds answer questions on various training occupations. After each of the five question blocks, they get more parts for a remote-controlled racing car. The young visitors are even allowed to print some of them themselves in 3D. I think that at least the Hemmschwelle I think that at least the inhibition threshold is removed. That one says, oh no, a technical career? No. If you get a little insight and see things you might not expect, then that's very positive. Training for processes in the working life with a VR headset is also very well received by the students. For example, I can practice assembly work on a production plant, which means I can disassemble and assemble the system without destroying real plants. Or, for example, I can assemble a laser, then disassemble it. And these are dangerous jobs that could have devastating consequences in reality. Trying out a dream job virtually. Just one of the many ideas how German companies are finding trainees at Emo Hanover although German qualifications are well respected internationally. I think that the Americans have a lot to learn from Germans in this regard. Uh, the Germans have a dual education system where they have higher learning and they also have a vocational training system. Uh, this is something that we need to introduce in the United States. There are many ways to start a career. A visit to Emo Hanover can help youngsters decide which route is the right one. When you are in school, you are not yet aware that you should be thinking about your professional life. So a trade fair like this is just the right place to do that. Especially for girls, as far as the technical area is concerned, it is nice that they can inform themselves and see that there are women in the profession. And recruiting junior staff at trade fairs is effective. Our experience is that we are able to attract a third of trainees here at trade fairs, and this is reflected in our job interviews. And, by the way, there are also real experts online who want to get young people excited about mechanical engineering. What I learned is that our academy that's free worldwide in 170 countries People understand it, people love it, because anybody can actually go on that academy and lift their skill level. Whether at the trade fair or on the net, in the world of mechanical engineering, there are an infinite number of exciting projects and projects for young talents. Possibilities to get started. <laughs>